study reveals major labor groups, unions, spent more than $1 billion with a B in dues to Democratic and left-wing groups without approval of their members. This since 2010. So how did union leadership get away with bankrolling, effectively, the left? Well, Richard Berman is the executive director of the Center for Union Facts, the nonpartisan organization that released that report. Richard, thanks for joining us this morning. So first of all, how did this come about that unions, I presume not just private unions, but public unions, are giving almost exclusively to Democrats to the tune of a billion dollars? Well, you have to understand that unions today are basically uh, political groups rather than labor organizing groups. Most people aren't in unions anymore, but the people who are there uh, are subject to a set of rules that says that the unions can take their money and use it for what the unions call representational purposes. But representational purposes, for some reason, includes giving away millions of dollars a year to Planned Parenthood, to giving to the Clinton Foundation, which has 400 million of its own money, uh, giving it to uh, the, the Democratic Governors Association, despite the fact that about 40 percent of union members vote Republican. And sure. the unions get away with it because, because there's no rule against it. Well, how do they keep getting away with it? Because ultimately, we saw in this election, a lot of blue-collar workers, union members, voted for President Trump, a Republican. How long can they get away with giving almost exclusively to the left while their members are, are supportive of a Republican? Well, the problem is, is that you've got to change the law. There is, a, there is a bill in Congress called the Employee Rights Act that's got about 170 members of the House and Senate who are in support of stopping this practice. But quite frankly, there isn't one Democrat who has signed on sure. because the unions choke the Democrats off from any reforms. Well, it's the same thing they do at the VA with the government unions. Are these government unions as well, Richard, to be clear? Are tax dollars going toward left-wing causes? The government unions for sure, but each of those unions is generally governed by state law, but the federal law, which controls private sector employment across the board, allows this to happen, and it's going to continue to happen unless the Congress steps in and stops it. The, the ERA, the Employee Rights Act, we'll see if we get movement on that. Richard, thanks for this study uh, revealing of something we knew, but we didn't know it was on that size and scope. We did reach out to some of the unions for a statement. Uh, we did not hear back. We are not holding our breath. Richard, thank you very much.